Five children for English, week five, we will be finding out some facts about Florence Nightingale, using them to plan a fact file, and then once we've edited that, create our final version of the fact file about her life. With a grown up, see if you can find out who Florence Nightingale was. Do you know already? Have you heard of her before? Do you know any facts about her? After you've had your discussion with a grown up about what you know already, it's time to do some research on her. I've added some information already about Florence Nightingale, but if you want to find some extra facts using the internet safely, that would be fantastic. Thank you. In the slide below, you'll find some helpful tips that will help you when you take notes from reading information. Remember, when you're taking notes, you need to look for the key words. You need to note down the key information, the main facts. And if you want to draw some little pictures or symbols to help you remember, that would be great. What I'd like you to do is have a look through your notes from Monday. Do they make sense to you? Is there anything else maybe you found out about Florence Nightingale you could add to your notes? In the slide below, there's a template of what a fact file can look like. It's got different headings and then there's a rectangular box where you'll be able to draw a picture. Obviously, when you plan and produce your final version of your fact file, you need to include these headings and also her name, her date of birth, but make sure you've got descriptive sentences to answer those key headings as well, which I'll come on to later on. So like I mentioned before, you need to do long descriptive sentences using adjectives, nouns, different words to start your sentences, obviously the correct punctuation as well, that match with those headings so your sentences will answer what the heading is asking. In the slide below, I've included some information that's been written about Florence Nightingale. Just to give you an example of some sentences, I think they could do with more adjectives. So if you look um, at the slide, Amazing Adjectives, you will see that there's loads of adjectives that you could think about adding in to what you've written to help enhance your writing. Now, we're going to read through our descriptive sentence from yesterday. Do they make sense? Have you included adjectives, nouns, conjunctions, different sentence starters, correct punctuation? And if you're going to need to make any editing changes, like we do in class with a purple pen, that is totally fine. That's what all good authors do. Now, once you've done your editing, it's time to write up your best final version. Now, that can be on two new pages of your exercise book, or it could be on a larger piece of paper if you've got one at home, maybe an A3 size piece of paper or A4, depending on what you've got. 